my name is Dr. Macy Schott here at Complete Hearing, and today we're doing something kind of exciting as May is Better Speech and Hearing Month. So I brought in Ted with me today, who is one of my newest cochlear implant um, recipients, and so he's going to be answering some questions for us today. Thanks for coming today, Ted. Thank you. All Thank right. You. First off, first, how long have you been wearing hearing aids for? Well, uh... It was in 2010. And so when did you start to think about a cochlear implant? Well, after about five, six years, after my first hearing aids, uh, things were starting to slow down a little bit with the understanding. I was kind of sold on, the, on a, a new set of hearing aids. Uh, and I worked through that with, for about four years with not real good success. And so uh, I finally came to a point where I came in to Dr. Miller and said, can you help me? And so we reprogrammed them. We went back through uh, with a, a short hearing test uh, that didn't go results wise very well and so I scheduled a medical appointment with Dr. Thetinger again. And so the tests that you did before you got the cochlear implant, some of that extensive testing we did in the booth with the hearing aids on, what was that like? Well, it, a typical test, but uh, not, it wasn't, it wasn't painful, it wasn't very extremely long like it was a real revelation to me that uh, that I had a severe problem. Mm -hmm. Okay so what was the cochlear implant surgery like and what was your recovery like? The the process surgery wise was uh, was extremely simple. Uh, they had it all set up for me to uh, to go to a surgery center in Omaha uh, Dr. Thetinger took care of it. It took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of total time. Uh, afterwards, I had a, a uh, it was all taped up and, and uh, I removed that the next day and it was, uh, it was very, very simple process no pain, and, and the recovery was real good. It, it uh, a matter of a couple days that uh, you had to kind of be protective, but other than that, it was easy. Good. So then you came in to complete hearing and had your first activation of the cochlear implant. Right. What was that kind of first day and even first week like after having it activated? When she activated it, it was uh, it was unique. It was uh, not necessarily uh, easy to identify the different sounds, but uh, and, and voices had a very strange, almost a quack quack duck like. Uh, sensation but uh, that was that was the initial response yeah good so now compared now that you've been wearing your cochlear implant for a few months what sounds are you hearing now that you maybe weren't hearing before when you were wearing hearing aids like what do you notice about everything <laughs> 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 it uh, it uh, just went so well uh, and quickly. I, I mean, within a, I think a couple weeks after our initial setup, uh, it was doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. So, what advice would you give somebody who was thinking about pursuing a cochlear implant? Uh, th I think the first thing I'd say is recognize that it's non-reversible. Mm -hmm. So try out all your options, find a, find a good medical uh, professional 
to uh, confirm that that's going to work for you. So, last question. If you could go back and change anything about your hearing journey, would you? Before hearing aids, I'd probably be a lot more careful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing right now that that I would do different. Everything is, I think I tried to check everything out. It, it just made a, things a lot more clear. I've got volume on the TV set to about a third of what I used to do. And I can, I can understand it actually better than my wife can now, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And you have a smartphone, don't you, that you're able to control things from as well? Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And the biggest thing is I can hear it. Mm -hmm. I was to a point to where I could not talk on a, on a telephone, on a cellular phone. And now that's totally, totally remedied. Well, Ted has done amazing when it comes to his progress with his cochlear implant. Um, and it's been really fun to watch him make that progress as he's been here at Complete Hearing through his hearing aid journey as well as now with the cochlear implant. Um, he's a really great advocate for anybody who's interested in learning about cochlear implants um, or even just hearing aids in general. He's worn hearing aids now for a long time. So thank you, Ted, for telling us your story. Oh, my um, pleasure. And we look forward to talking to anybody who has any interest in hearing aids. They, you have tinnitus, cochlear implants, hearing protection. Complete Hearing is here to help you out. Happy May. Happy Speech and Hearing Month. Everybody stay safe and healthy. Enjoy the summer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.